بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد باک بائٹن ایو اللہ حبا and slandering are wicked sins and they are sins which is easy for us to fall into as human beings to speak about even in the most casual way it can slip into a conversation you hear someone else speaking about someone and you may not want to speak about them in an ill way but somehow you involve yourself in that speech either by listening to it or contributing saying no he's not as bad as that but so and so but such and such and this is how we involve ourselves in that. And the Prophet ﷺ warned us about ghiba and namima in many ahadith. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likens uh, in the Quran, makes a similitude between the one who backbites and uh, eating the flesh of the dead. That making a similitude, showing us how wicked and how detestable it is in the sight of Allah, and that Allah wants us to detest that. Just as if we detest uh, necro, necrophilia or what have you, of, of eating, the, uh, eating the dead or what have you. And so, in a sahih hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam was walking with his companions by some graves by a graveyard and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said innahuma liyu'adhiban wa ma yu'adhiban fi kabir amma ahaduhuma fa kana la yastatarul min al-bawl wa amma al-akhir fa kana yamshi bin namima so the prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam was walking through by some graves and he said, verily, the inhabitants of those graves are being punished. And they're not being punished for something which is, you know, something that the people take, uh, you know, it's something that the people take lightly. You know, it's not for something that seems to be great. As for one of them, that they didn't clean themselves properly when they went to the bathroom. They urinated and it either got on their clothing or they didn't make the proper istinja using water or, 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 or istijmar or what have you, whatever was legislated at that time. But they didn't clean themselves properly when they urinated. Uh, and then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and as for the other one, meaning the other inhabitant of the grave that was being punished in the grave, and we believe in that, is that they used to carry the tales of the people. Meaning they used to slander people. They spoke about people in order to spread wickedness. So for example, if you say, shoot, so-and-so, that girl, she such and such and such and such, and, you know, I, that's what I heard, you know, and, and you, you do that in order to spread those tales, it may not even be true. And you spread those tales in order to spread wickedness throughout the community about that individual. Or just in order to spread wickedness throughout the community. Let the people know more about sins going on in the community. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. So that is something we have to be aware of. Because it is so common and it is so easy. And we take it so lightly as if we're cleaning off our garment. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and forgive us for our many sins and help us to safeguard our tongue, safeguard our ears, what we listen to, and safeguard our eyes and what we watch. And may Allah forgive us and bless us with Jannah to Fardos. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.